Hi friends, a warm welcome to everyone. Today I am going to give a summary of the poem Ode to a Nightingale written by John Keats. Now let's see a small intro of John Keats. John Keats was an English romantic poet. He was born on 31st October 1795 in England. He was the son of Thomas Keats and Francis Jennings. His famous poems were La Bella Damson's Mercy, Hyperion, Ode to a Nightingale and Ode on a Grecian Urn. Then he was died on 23rd February 1821 at his age of 25. Now let's move to the poem. The theme of the poem is the poet wants to travel through Nightingale's world to forget all his pains in his heart. In the beginning of the poem, the poet was in the state of drowsiness. The poet said that his heart aches and so he drank the poison named hemlock. After he drank the drug, he forget all his pains and sorrows. He felt as that he had drank some powerful drug or painkiller named opiate. In Greek mythology, Lethe was the river of forgetfulness. The poet was also near the river Lethe. Then the poet addresses the nightingale and the bird song makes him happy. The nightingale song was considered as melodious song in the green forest. Now the poet lay down in the green meadows near the stream. That time he thought to drink a vintage wine tasting of flora. He wants to drink the pure wine that would taste of the blissful hippocrine with the bubbles that glitters in the glass and he denotes that wood purple stained mouth. The poet might drink this kind of wine and he wants to leave this world and the poet wants to enter the unseen world the time the poet fade away into the dark forest now the place became dark and the poet fade away into the dim forest following the song of nightingale then the poet addressed the youth that they were dying due to their stress So the poet advised to concentrate on other things and tomorrow will change the situations. So the poet was traveling Nightingale's world to forget his pains. The poet said that the world was full of weary, fever and stress and he said that if we want to overcome this we must concentrate on other things. But the poet said that we sun the beauty and love was the reason that the world became bad. and the beauty and love cannot survive for long time then the poet asked the nightingale to fly away and then he could follow it then the poet addressed the batches and his pots for his wine then he said that he will use viewless wings on his poetry to follow the bird though the poet's brain was dull then the night comes the moon was very bright on her throne there is no light around the poet the moonlight was bright and it looks beautiful then in the place the breeze was blown and the moonlight was compared to heavenly light then in the dark forest he cannot see the flowers around him but in the darkness he find out the flowers with its fragrance in the darkling place the poet was laying down in the green grass just to listen the song of the bird the song gives pleasure to the poet the time he smell the fragrance of musk rose and he can hear the murmuring sound of flies of summer leaves in the dark forest then the poet listen the nightingale song and it gives more pleasure to the poet in that midnight the poet lay down on the green grass and he was hearing the song of the nightingale and he wants this kind of rich death by hearing the song of the nightingale the poet wants to die and he consider this death as a easeful death then the poet said that this song helps the poet to forget his pains and he and so he consider the night as a painless night then the poet consider the nightingale as a immortal bird he said that nightingale usually entertain the people all the people used to listen the song of nightingale here the poet refers the biblical character named ruth ruth used to listen the song of nightingale when she was sad she stood with tears at the time of her walk and the song of nightingale comforts her and made her to forget her sorrows finally the poet said that the word forlorn he recalls that in the beginning of the poem he said that his heart aches and he considered the word as forlorn after the poet enjoyed the song of nightingale he recovered from his heart ache so he used the word forlorn 
then the poet tried to come back to his soul he was laying down in the meadows the poet did not know whether he was awake or asleep finally he ends with the question do i wake or sleep the poet does not know that all these are real or a dream i hope that this video is helpful to all to know the summary of this poem and thanks for watching thank you